G'day possums, welcome back to the lab. I bought this iPhone 11 locally and of course, knowing my luck, it's broken. The microphones down the bottom do not work. So I'm going to attempt to repair this, but I've never opened an iPhone 11 before. What could possibly go wrong? Enough talk, let's get started. I bought this refurbished iPhone from a little mobile store in the city and it cost, you know, something like uh, 500 bucks. And as usual, you test everything in the shop and when you get home, you find that the little microphones don't work down the bottom when making phone calls or calling up Siri. So rather than see this as a, um, a failure and going back to the shop to actually exchange the phone, um, I figured what a fun little project to rip apart and to replace a microphone flex and hopefully uh, we'll have some success otherwise it will make an entertaining uh, video if I stuff it up. So we'll uh, make a start now. First I better switch off the iPhone, undo the two pentalobe screws down the bottom. Heat the screen while figuring out how to open it up. Use this wacky tool to separate the top and bottom hopefully. Use the pick on the right. Another on the left. Over the top. Voila, we are open. Just going to remove this shield and pretend I know what I'm doing. I'm going to remove my screen flex cables. I'm going to gently put my spudger under these two cables and give it a slight twist. Pop these connectors off. Gently bring my tool in and lever this up. Now we can break our front display away we're just going to take out this small lower plate and we're going to knock out all these screws. Time to work around the SIM card area here, but firstly, I need to eject the tray. Just removing this L shaped shield. Now to remove the SIM tray. We've just flipped the phone around and we're just going to remove this little bracket next to the SIM tray. Just take that out. We're just going to release this connector, get our spudger underneath and give it a quick flick up. You can see the smaller battery connector here as well, but I'm not going to disconnect that because I am lazy. We're just going to knock out our, our screw with this flat screwdriver. Then pull this bracket away.
we're just knocking out this connector underneath and it's all done now the sim card tray should just lift straight out we've cleared everything in this area here now we're going to go onto our Taptics engine and our speaker and depopulate everything across through here. I'm going to peel up this tape here. Gently peel it all the way back. I'm going to release this flat screw here, the bottom left of the speaker. It's a bit tricky, let's just throw in a flat screwdriver. Take the Phillips out in the bottom right. We have another flat underneath. We'll peel back our last sticker here to reveal our last screw. Quickly clear this bracket. Apply a little bit of heat just to soften the adhesive underneath the speaker. And it should just pop straight out. I'm knocking out these two screws for the Taptics engine. Disconnect our connector for the Taptics. And it should just pop out. We've just got to remove this bottom assembly here. So we'll just take out the last couple of screws. flat here just to annoy me. Take that out. We're just pushing back the bottom assembly now. One last screw. I just flipped the phone up and now I'm just taking out the charging port screws. And get a nice triple zero Phillips Posi drive into these. They'll come out quite easily. No need to take out the battery. And we're done. We've cleared everything here. We're just going to rip up the whole microphone and lightning socket assembly. But before we do, we have one little connector to disconnect way up here. Also, I'm keeping all my parts, screws and bibs and bobs all organized. So when I reassemble the iPhone, I know exactly where they go. Let's flip that back. Apply a little bit of heat just to help soften any adhesive. And that's our old assembly freed up. We have our brand new Flex here, which has the two little microphones. And we also have our lightning connector socket down the bottom. And we need to prepare this Flex. We just need to bend a few of these 
little arms into their rightful positions and we also need to attach the stirrups on the lightning socket itself and we'll do that under the microscope right now this is the underside of our lightning socket and this is a little stirrup and it basically goes over the the connector there a little bit like a saddle you can see one stirrup here is correctly mounted the reason we have these stirrups is because it passes the ground or the negative or the earth signal onto the actual flex itself and sets up a nice little ground plane to stop radio frequency interference and to allow for a faster throughput through this connector so I better get this stirrup and I'll just put it in its little home just pop it in place a lot of phone repairers wouldn't do this because it's too fiddly a job but technicians like myself like to do this because we're perfectionists and we're not half assed I'm just putting our first screw in the connector and just trying to line it up just get the screw in its little hole and there we go we'll just do that up loosely so we also have another ring that pops up on this side and you've got to align that ring with the stirrup in behind it and then drop the screw through so that's our right side loosely in position just put in the left side I'm just going to put the leg of my tweezers through to make sure everything's aligned correctly and we'll just put that in its hole and we'll just try and get it to find its little home Just do it up but we won't tighten it in place yet I'm just going to plug in an unpowered lightning connector just lock that in perfect and then I can tighten up the screws and that gives us perfect alignment All done. I'll just quickly push our microphones into place. This is a bit tricky. And there. Let's push that. That's our first microphone done. This is our next microphone got it locked in its little home you can see those little tabs there just push it into place we'll just put in our small retainer go in there just behind our microphone just push in a place like that I'm just peeling off some adhesive time to put the tactics engine back in then plug it in now we do the speaker
put down the sticky rubber. And then more because once was not enough. All this area here is complete. We have our speaker and our Taptics engine back in, as well as the lower part of our flex. And now we move on to put in the SIM card tray in here and hook up the rest of the cables. Plug in the small flex. Slide in the SIM assembly, tucking its flex under the larger flex. Put in small bracket. Plug in SIM flex. Put cable management bracket over the top. Plug in big flex. Put back L bracket. All this area is complete, including our little SIM tray. Now we reattach our screen down to this area down here. Plug in screen flex cables. I'm using my big fat finger. Then putting shield over the top. Our screen is now attached and we have our box of matches here to keep it all propped up. And now all we have to do is put on the final plate on this side. And we're going to push on with that right now. This is the last bit and it's always annoying. Right, we're all done. And just to make sure it functions correctly, we're just going to flip it over, but not seal it up. Just gently get everything in its rightful position. Let's make sure the phone powers up. Let's make sure the phone charges. And you can see we've got our charge symbol up here. Let's test the microphone. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. What time is it? It's 9.56. And it looks like we're complete. Our uh, iPhone 11 is fixed. Now I reheat the old adhesive, press it all back together and put the pentalobe screws either side of the charging port. Now I have a fully functioning iPhone 11. Siri works and my wife can hear my phone calls and that's all you need in life. If you're interested in seeing other stuff repaired, check out the rest of our channel don't forget to share, like, subscribe. Other than that, we'll see you next time in the lab.